Welcome to GastroVision. Today, you're going to learn about endoscopic ultrasound findings in chronic pancreatitis. Chronic pancreatitis is defined as irreversible pancreatic parenchymal damage characterized by inflammation, fibrosis, and progressive loss of exocrine and endocrine function. At present, EUS is the most sensitive diagnostic tool for detecting early or subtle parenchymal changes, often before any abnormality appears on CT, MRI, or functional tests. The EUS diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis is based on morphologic changes seen in both the ductal system and parenchyma. Let's go through some classic examples. In this first EUS image, you can see hyperechoic foci marked by small arrows and echogenic strands represented by larger arrows in the pancreatic body. These reflect fibrosis and collagen deposition within the parenchyma, one of the earliest EUS signs of chronic pancreatitis. The pancreas gradually loses its fine homogeneous texture, replaced by coarse echoes and strands. In this next image, you can appreciate small, string-like hyperechoic structures traversing the pancreatic parenchyma. These are known as hyperechoic strands. They represent fibrotic septa that separate lobules of pancreatic tissue. When these become prominent and irregular, they indicate advanced parenchymal fibrosis. Now observe this EUS image showing rounded, homogeneous lobules separated by strands of different echogenicity in the pancreatic parenchyma. This appearance, often described as a lobular honeycomb pattern, is characteristic of chronic pancreatitis. It results from uneven fibrosis and lobular atrophy, disrupting the normal architecture of the gland. In this image, you can see a hyperechoic lesion with posterior acoustic shadowing within the main pancreatic duct. This is a calcified pancreatic stone. The acoustic shadow is a key clue. It confirms that the echo originates from a dense, calcified structure. Pancreatic duct stones are commonly seen in advanced or long-standing chronic pancreatitis. Now look at this image. The EUS shows a hyperechoic duct margin of the main pancreatic duct in the body of the pancreas. This finding indicates fibrosis or calcification along the ductal wall. It's an early ductal feature suggesting chronic inflammation. In this final image, the EUS reveals an irregularly dilated main pancreatic duct with strong echogenic foci and acoustic shadows within. These correspond to intraductal calculi, stones causing obstruction and upstream dilatation. This is a classic EUS picture of chronic obstructive pancreatitis. Let's recap the key EUS features of chronic pancreatitis you've just learned. Parenchymal changes, hyperechoic foci, strands, lobularity with honeycomb pattern, ductal changes, irregular ductal dilatation, hyperechoic duct margins, and intraductal stones with acoustic shadowing. EUS helps detect these structural changes long before cross-sectional imaging shows abnormalities making it an indispensable tool for early diagnosis and staging of chronic pancreatitis. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to GastroVision for more EUS-based learning sessions. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll explore EUS findings and other pancreatic and hepatic lesions.